there's a lot of people who broke it, has broken arms, broken legs, and there's no treatment or anything. And for two days and a night, they, they didn't allow to go to get a water. And all toilet, everything in that big room. And after that, they taking my brother and sister, they took him to another place and they keep there about a week and there they get a small bowl of rice in the morning and a small bowl of rice uh, kind of rice soup that in the evening and uh, but there's no mattress, no blanket, anything on the concrete, you just stay but they have a toilet to go to the toilet. And then uh, after six weeks, you know, one week there, then the rest about two a little bit over two weeks they go to another place and there my brother said there were six thousand of Tibetan but there and a lot of them had bruises and a lot of them injured and also they and from there they saw a lot of people who were left and broken legs and they taken to uh, some places and they came my place so uh, my brother also received some first beds. Uh, this is uh, some one experience that I had at the you know, spring, but now I kind of call it at the beginning of it's, it's a spring, but in 94 or 95, but because I was about two years in Hansa at that time, but which year, I'm not very really sure. At uh, 94 or 95, one uh, evening we are told that tomorrow there's uh, some important official coming from Beijing and everybody has to go to welcome him and certain place we have to get there. And, and also, and we told we had to put in our best dress. And uh, the next morning, actually, how it controlled the city is that city has a certain police station. Each police station is responsible to for information to uh, each building. And each building has also one of working for the government. And uh, so that, and anything that somebody is not attending to that meeting or board, and the, the police can come through that person who is responsible for that building. And I don't know, I think you get a little bit paid from government. And uh, so we uh, will did it by uh, 7 in the morning, we had to follow that guy and we to, and then we, at the front of Kotala Palace, just before we got there, everybody threw up, everybody checked, there's a soldier that checking, make sure that we don't have any weapons or anything. And, uh, so seven thirty we got at a bit of actually kind of a little bit slight, it was kind of rainy and and uh, but there they uh they kind of flat so we sit on the flat and uh, there's a big stadium and uh, there about at nine uh, AM this official showed up. I don't know his name or anything and uh, so they so first two things did the Chinese national item. So, and then he started to uh, give talk. And while he is giving talk, uh, we occasionally have to clap somebody leading that club and we have to clap. But there's a lot, a lot of, uh, I myself, I don't know any Chinese, but also there's a lot, a lot of Tibetans and, and who doesn't know, who has no idea what, they, what he was talking about. Like, there's no translation in Tibetan, we have to kind of clap and, and, uh, and for that end also we have to clap hands and we have to sit there and we cannot stand up and we get down and enter he leaves the stadium. Uh, in the end of uh, 1995, so uh, I and my two friends we decided to go to three to uh, other India or Nepal or so we found a guy and we worked there about one month and uh, five days and including three days we got food and uh, yeah and that's that's the very